I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test problem on finding approximate area under the curve. The beauty of this question is that we will be having rectangles or trapezoids with unequal lengths. Uh, let me make a figure here to show you what we are trying to do. So we we'll just sketch a curve here and then find the area of that curve. So let's say let's say we have a curve kind of like this. Okay, so let's stop it here. Let's say that's the curve and we want to find area under this curve, right? So, so what we'll have here is a few points which are not equally spaced. Normally in the examples you'll find that the points are equally spaced. Now in this case they will not be so. So what I'm thinking about is just write a scale here. So let's begin from let's say this point and we'll take some points which are closer, some points which are farther away, okay, and let's see, okay. I don't want too many points so we have taken one, two, three. We'll take the last point here. Okay, that's fine. Let us say these are the points which we are going to consider. So let me give some coordinate values to these points. Okay, so this, this, this is somewhere here, and this is this is here, okay. And that one is kind of here. Fine. So we'll just give some values to these points. Okay, so so let's say this is unit 1 for us. So what I can write here on my x-axis as, uh, let's say this is, this is 2. Okay, let's keep this as 3. Let's say this is 4 and this is 5. Uh, 6, 7, 8. And we'll put this as 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So that point is 12 for us. Fine. Now here we want to keep this as one unit so okay let's break this uh, scale a bit and uh, uh, let's say this point is 5 for us okay 5 and this point we'll keep this as, as 6 let me call here 12 6 that's better right uh, so 5 6 uh, 7 let's call this as 8 9 10 11 let's call this as 12 okay so, so these are the points which we have just created. We'll call this as a function and we need to find area under this function and above x-axis. That's the, that's the idea. Okay. So that's the idea. And we'll use these two methods of approximation. The first one here is left rectangle approximation. The other one is trapezoidal approximation. So these are the two methods which we are going to use to find the area. So let's call this as A and this as B. So these are the two methods which we are going to apply. So let's clearly write down the coordinate points. So this one is uh, 2 and 5. Okay, 2 and 5. Okay, 2 and 5. This one is 3 and 8. 3 and 8. This one is 5 and 12. This one is, we'll call this as 8 and 11. Okay. This one is 12 and 6. So we have few points. As you can clearly see that if we make rectangles, these rectangles are not of same length. Okay. If we make trapezoids, even then these lengths are different. So that could be the case at times in the test paper, if not otherwise. Correct. So let's use our methods of approximation. So first one is the rectangle approximation. So in this we form rectangles. Let's say this is my rectangle. So that is my first rectangle. When I say left that means we are interested in this point and for the next rectangle that is my left point. Okay. Uh, fine. Then the third rectangle this is my left point. Okay. So fine. So this comes here. This kind of matches a bit. 8 and 11, okay. I'm sorry. I'll have to, to extend this. 
kind of right so i'll have to extend this a bit right so so because you have to go horizontal here this is 12 this is 11 so it's one higher so we go here we go here right so that is my left point in this case and then when we get to the other one like this one i have to go higher do you see and that is my left point for this one so that is not a point for us but this is kind of a rectangle for this one okay so we have this one here so these are the rectangles whose area we have to find so that we get area under the curve between x-axis and this curve right so that's the whole idea so let's figure this out so what we have here is a area so area will be so when we use left rectangle approximation we are looking at this left side value right so so that is the the first area to consider so here the width is one unit as you can see very clearly and the height is five units that y value so the, for the first one it is one times five plus for the second one the width is 5 minus 3 which is 2 units and the height is 8 right so 8 plus for the third one we are talking about 8 minus 5 which is 3 units and the height is left side 12 plus the next one 4 units 12 minus 8 and the left side is is 11 okay is 11 so that becomes the area under the curve when we use left rectangle approximation right so now we can use calculator just multiply and add these values so we have 1 times 5 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times 12 plus 4 times 11 right and when you do this you get 101 so it's 101 so we get 101 units square so this is using the left rectangle approximation right now let's do the second one which is which is trapezoidal okay so when we do trapezoidal approximation we kind of make trapezoids of these. Uh, I should redo this actually, but uh, I'm just thinking, we'll make with a darker ink, right? So I hope this point is clear to you. So in this approximation, the area which we covered was kind of like this. The first rectangle was this one, right? So it is this area. The second was this area, do you see that? So this, this was the second area and then the third area we went slightly higher here okay uh, this was the third area fine and then the fourth one we went very high here so it kind of compensated a bit for the losses which we made on the rising part right so so what you really notice here is that this is fairly good approximation uh, this part of the curve was concave down so our estimate is much lower this is concave up our estimate is higher right these two that kind of compensates and we get fairly accurate result even by using left rectangle approximation and making such big blocks i mean i'm really not making small small blocks to find the area but i'm really approximating and uh, believe me this is fairly accurate result now let's look into the uh, rectangle part I mean the trapezoid part so how do we do with trapezoids so trapezoids as you know have two parallel sides which you can see that so a pair of parallel sides is there and the distance between them is clearly written here between two and three but what we do really is that we connect them with a straight line so this is what i'm connecting so that becomes my first trapezoid so let me write this area uh, generally the formula for trapezoid area let me write in general is half sum of parallel sides which we say a plus b times height right so height is distance between them 
that's the general formula so for the first one which we just created here it will be uh, so sum of all these right so we'll add these areas so let me uh, write down uh, these areas clearly so what we have here is area equals to first one half a plus b these parallel sides we have to add right so that is the trapezoid we're talking about okay so we're talking about this trapezoid okay now this side is 5 and that side is 8 so it is 5 plus 8 and the height is basically distance between parallel sides which is 1 correct okay now let's look into the next one so we are going to join this point so that becomes a trapezoid now so we have these two parallel sides clear now it is half some of these sides 8 and 12 so 8 plus 12 times distance between them that horizontal thing which we are call, calling height 5 minus 3 is 2 right plus half next one so for the next one we are going to join these two sides right and that is the trapezoid so these two heights are 12 and 11 so we'll just add 12 and 11 multiply by the distance which is 3 now the last one we are going to join this and this right so so we'll just join these so it is slightly higher than the curve okay and that is half of 11 and 6 11 plus 6 times the distance between them 12 minus 8 which is 4 so that becomes the area when you use approximation of trapezoids right so that's the second way of finding well there are different ways this is two ways we are working with in this particular video so let's add this up so so we'll add and divide by two or you can say uh, so what we can do is we can just do half of all this later so we'll just add this we'll say half of uh, 8 plus 1 is a 13 plus 8 plus 12 is 20 times 2 is 40 okay and this is uh, 20 23 double right 23 double is uh, 46 uh, plus 4 times and this is 17 right so okay let's write 4 times 17 I mean 4 times 17 okay doesn't matter let's calculate so what I'm trying to say is we'll just multiply all this by half so we have 13 plus 40 plus 46 plus 4 times 17 equals 2 and we'll divide this by 2 to get our answer in decimals which is 83.5 i hope i did not do any calculation mistakes let me do a calculation the idea here is to uh, unit square so the idea here is that you could use different methods to find area under the curve left rectangle gives you as you can see fairly good approximation in this particular example uh, trapezoids are very close uh, for most of the part right so it gives you a good approximation also however we have a lot of variation here you could also use the right rectangle approximation and the center value approximation you could use those also to find area under the curve so you can take up examples like i created practice but remember that in the test sometimes you may get questions where these intervals are not constant that's what i want to emphasize i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best